So today at Signature Canine, we're going to take a look at the uh, newly redesigned ultimate load bearing harness. And essentially what you see here is you've got handle on each end, and basically the handle is built into the molly. The molly is bar tacked all the way across here, this is the second row molly here, and then the handle is actually a part of that. So the handle is actually stitched from this end clear to here. Um, it's doubled over so it makes it a little thinner, it lays flat on the dog. You can see it, it, this has a, a, an attachment point at the back. Load rated D-ring at the back, uh, across the, uh, the D-ring actually has load rated webbing stitched into it. There's a full panel of Velcro here. Now, this is actually the harness that we use for our camera system because the camera Velcro's down and then hooks through the molly and straps the mount down. The camera can pop on and off here pretty easy. This is the, the main one we use for that. Part of the reason that we use this harness for that is that it's got a, it has a pretty big section, or the whole thing actually has spacer mesh on it. And if you look at it, the spacer mesh is actually compressible. So it pads the dog's back against the harness with the camera, and then the camera mount has spacer mesh in it. So between the two of them, they actually take up the curve across the dog's back. This harness also, you'll notice, has got um, load rated metal buckles on it. So instead of a standard plastic buckle, it's got a load rated metal buckle. The whole thing's got that pad in it. The other thing that that pad does is it actually spaces up from the dog's, from the dog's body a little bit, the harness, and adds a little padding to the sides. But where that becomes important is the fact that you can actually take the, uh, you actually give back the air space that the fur creates. So the fur mash, you know, most harnesses mash the fur down and are either, uh, are either effective because they're mesh or they're small platform. In a larger platform harness like this, you want to give the dog as much air space between his body and the harness as you can so you can reduce some of the heat buildup in there. And basically what you have here is that mesh gives us some of that back. So we get less heat buildup underneath the harness keeping the dog cooler. You'll see on here across the top, here are our G-hook loops. So it'll accept our G-hook pouches, single strap in the front, uh, same thing, load rated hardware. It will take our padded breastplate so you can turn it from, you know, from the standard sort of two strap harness configuration and you can add that third strap with the padded breastplate on it if you want. And again, this is a an HD version and the HD version of all our harnesses have these metal buckles in them. They have all load rated hardware and all load rated webbing in the, in the HD versions. So if you've seen some of the other versions with plastic hardware, that's the difference. It costs a little more money but it's substantially uh, heavier duty as far as that stuff goes. Again, the other thing to look at on this harness too is when you look at this chest plate, here, let me unbuckle it. I get the size set to my chest plate and then I kind of leave it. But what, you, what you'll see here is that this comes off at an angle. As opposed to a lot of harnesses that come straight across here and wrap around the chest, that doesn't really follow the dog's shoulder and it doesn't really allow him to load into the chest at all if he's pulling, you know, if he's tracking it actually creates, it's, it's not as comfortable. So if I'm looking at a dog and, I'm, and I've got a line on the dog on the harness, now if I'm just out doing general work, I'll put my, I'll put my leash on the collar. But if I'm actually out and I'm going to use the harness, you can see this actually comes down towards the front of the dog so it doesn't, it comes across the top of his shoulder and down away from his neck. So it's not pulling this direction, it actually pulls into his chest. And that allows us to, to transfer the weight back the harness this direction better, which you know, brings it back to the leash better. Or as opposed to a single, a flat, a flat strap harness in the front, one that comes parallel to the ground here, or horizontal, it actually, it actually loads and the harness twists, twists the load up. This it actually draws through the harness to the actual, to the attachment point in the back which makes it a little better under, that, under those load conditions. The other thing, again, because it's all load rated webbing, I can grab the dog, pick him up with the handles. If I need to pitch him over a fence or, you know, throw him into something, I can actually grab this and use the harness as that. Now, it's not, none of the, none of the harnesses in, that are built on a platform similar to this are meant to rope off of these handles or anything like that. But the reality is I can pick him up, I can lower him down if I need to. I'm not going to fast rope out of a helicopter with him, but at the same time, this is going to basically manage everything else you're going to do with that dog minus those situations. So G-hook panels, load rated webbing, two straps of molly already here. It's padded so that it actually creates some air space behind the dog, plus it offers some padding. Load rated buckles on the bottom, 
handles integrated into the Molly. All this is bar tack, so that it actually, so that actually basically that bar tack weaves this fabric back into the other fabric with thread. So it's substantially stronger than what you'll see a lot of times, which is just a triple stitched harness, which makes the durability a lot better. And uh, well, I think that's it. This is the uh, Signature Canine and the Ray Allen Ultimate Load Bearing Harness. And we will see you next time.